Hello, welcome to Bagre TV. If you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Sabo Mbeki. Sabo Mbeki is the second South African president in the post-apartheid regime. His tenure in office was known for achieving economic growth of 4.5% per year and creating employment in the middle class of the economy. He was born on the 18th of June 1942 to the family of Ipainiti and Govan Mbeki. Sabo Mbeki was born into activism and politics as his father was a strong member of the ANC. Together with his other siblings, four of them were raised in Mbewulenin, Cape Province, Union of South Africa. Sabu Mbeki started his primary school in Udutiwa, but finished at Butterworth, and his secondary education was at Love Day. Alice, being an activist and a political loyalist at such a tender age, didn't come without a price. He was expelled in 1959 because he joined the student strikes and was forced to continue schooling at home. So at home, he took matriculation at St. John's High School, Umtata. The following year, he completed an A-level examination at Johannesburg, became an excellent student with the University of London, and graduated with a degree in economics. During the time of his schooling, African National Congress, ANC party was banned, but Mbeki and others were involved in its underground activities. In 1961, Mbeki's leadership qualities were already in shape as he was elected secretary of the African Students Association. It was that same year he met Nelson Mandela, who advised him to leave the country to study because his life was in danger. For his political affiliation, he took the advice and went to London. In London, he worked for the Communist Party leader, Yusuf Dado, at the ANC office in London, taking part in many protests and lost one of his teeth during one of the protests when a policeman attacked him. Mbeki later went for one year military training in the Lenin International School in Moscow in 1969. In the early 70s, he became a force to be reckoned with in ANC because of his great contributions to the party's activities. In 1990, Mbeki, being a man of logic and a good negotiator, advised instead of using weapons to fight apartheid, a method which had never worked, that the party looked into the ideology of negotiations rather than violence. He believed that it was the only way to freedom. It was that same year that he returned from exile officially. In 1993, Mbeki became more prominent in ANC and was elected as its chairman. That same year, he spoke about the need to abolish apartheid in the United States. Nelson Mandela, having worked with him and knowing his qualities, made him his deputy when he became president in 1994. After Nelson Mandela's retirement from office, there seemed to be no other person to fit those shoes but Mbeki. He was elected into office as South African president in 1999 and won a second term in 2002. One of his greatest attributes is being blunt. He isn't one that will shy away from making his opinion known, not minding the controversy it might cause. One of his views that caused controversy all over the world was the one on AIDS. He played down scientific facts about AIDS, refusing to agree that AIDS was caused by HIV, but poverty, malnutrition, and general illness. He said that the expensive retroviral medicine being sold by the Western world was not the solution. Mbeki's stance on AIDS caused about 30,000 deaths as many people bought into that and refused medicine. Mbeki was the one who made it possible for South Africa to host the 2010 World Cup. He sought for the help of other football nations of the world, like Brazil and others, to support him, telling them that Africa was more than able to host the biggest event in the world. He played a major part in resolving crises in African countries like Rwanda, Burundi, Ivory Coast and others, and headed African Union at some point. He resigned on the 21st of September 2008 after a misunderstanding with the ANC leadership. At the age of 16, in 1958, he had a son, Mwabise Kwanda, out of wedlock. On November 23rd, 1974, he married his sweetheart in London, Zaneli Dlamini. In 1981, his son Kwanda and his youngest brother mysteriously disappeared, although they were said to have been killed by the apartheid agent. Tabo Mbeki loves jazz and classical music. If he wasn't a politician, he probably might have been a good musician. His net worth is about 10 million US dollars, making him one of the richest South African politicians. What's your take on Mbeki's contribution to South African politics? Let's know in the comment section. Will this be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.